All right, so for those of you that don't know, me and my wife are doing one year of no drinking. So one of my favorite drinks to have before this one year, we're about two months in, it was tequila. Um, typically I wouldn't get like some celebrity tequila, but I found this Amalve tequila. This is a tequila that's sponsored by Lewis Hamilton, the Formula One driver. I found his Blanco tequila. It was on sale when I went to Sprout. So I was like, you know what, let me pick it up. I was making tacos anyway. I was like, this is perfect. I can make a margarita. I haven't had a margarita in three, four months now. So I haven't really done much research on it. I watched one or two videos just to see, um, but I don't really know too much. So I want to try this 100% blue agave tequila, Amave. This is from Lewis Hamilton, fresh bottle. Let's give it a crack. All right, so I'm gonna give this a taste test first and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a straight taste test with a little bit of ice and then I'm gonna try it as a margarita. A couple rocks of ice here. Typically I'm a fan of aged tequilas and he has like a aged version. If I could open this up. He has an aged version as well, but this is his Blanco. Oh, it's a twist top. That's why I thought it was gonna pop off. All right, so let's give this a pour. All right, let's give it a nice little sniff. You can definitely smell the agave. Um, actually, just uh, about a year ago, we went to um, Guadalajara Tequila and went to a bunch of tequila factories. So this actually just gave me a flashback to that moment. <sighs> no, it smells nice. It doesn't have that like alcoholic burn, obviously. It's non-alcoholic, so. Okay, this is really interesting. Real interesting, I enjoy it. It definitely has like a lot of vanilla notes to it, which I like because I typically like aged tequilas that have that vanilla note. So you got a little bit of vanilla in there. You definitely smell the cooked agave. You almost get like um, some floral notes or I don't know, it's good. And then it has like a little spice at the end, which I did do a little bit of research and found out in order to emulate that like alcohol burn, they added like a little bit of spicy, some peppers or something like that. And that spicy pepper note kind of emulates the burn of the tequila. So this is really interesting and I really like it. I almost, I don't feel like I'm sipping tequila, but it does have that same flavor, that same taste. So, all right, Brianne's coming in for a taste test. Oh, it does smell like tequila. It doesn't have that burn. It's more Christmassy, I think, than normal tequila. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's how vanilla kind of. Mm -hmm. All right, do you approve? Yeah. All right, Brian approves. All right, so by itself, that was a very interesting experience. This is actually my first time having a non alcoholic liquor. Uh, I know I've seen some before. There's some non-alcoholic gins, and, but this is my first time having a straight non-alcoholic liquor, which is very interesting. It's kind of reminiscent of when you have a non-alcoholic beer. It's like, you know what I mean? It tastes like you're drinking beer, especially the, the non-alcoholic beer game has gotten a lot better recently. But now I'm gonna make a margarita, one of my favorite drinks. Let's uh, see what we can do here. I'm gonna rim this right here. Got a little salt and tahini. I'm gonna throw on the rim, just like being in Mexico. Throw a little ice in. It should be interesting because typically the ice will melt a little bit faster if you're doing an alcoholic drink because the alcohol will melt the ice, but I'm interested to see. It seems like the, the ice is gonna hold up a little bit longer, so probably won't have to use quite as much. This is my OG margarita recipe. Shout out to Teresa if you're watching. The Teresa Rita, I used to work with her on the island in Bahamas, and this was her margarita recipe, so let's do it. A couple limes in here. I got some agave nectar. The agave should work well with the agave in here. That's like one of the secrets. Some people use simple syrup, some people use sugar. I think agave nectar is the only way to go. Just gonna eyeball it. Typically you would uh, use this sweetness to kind of cut that alcohol flavor, but because there's not a lot of alcohol flavor, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that. So typically uh, you will put some triple sec in a margarita, but because triple sec is alcoholic and I don't wanna use alcohol, I'm gonna use this squish, fresh squeezed orange juice. 
just like a little hint to give it that orange flavor. Um, and then we're gonna go with the Amalve. Again, we are just eyeballing it this time. That looks good to me. All right, let's give this a shake. While I'm pouring this, you can get a close up, Cole. garnish that with a lime too to make it legit all right here we go that looked like a tasty drink if i've ever seen one all right let's give it a little taste cheers all you guys doing na non-alcoholic life this for you lewis hamilton cheers mm. okay that's nice um, it's a little bit sweeter than I would have expected. I'd probably put even a little bit less of this agave nectar because this is not cutting any alcohol flavor. It's you don't kind of need it. And this already has like sweet flavors to it with the vanilla notes and all that. So it's a little bit sweeter than I would have liked, but I basically feel like I'm drinking a margarita right now. Let me get it with the salt. Oh yeah. Cheers, Brian. Come come try this. Let me... It's good. I agree. I think it's too sweet. Um, but it's tasty. It definitely takes care of the uh, like the itch to drink or have a margarita. Mm. Alright, Brian approves? Yeah. Alright, Brian approves. I think Next time I make one of these, what I'll do is I'll actually add some spiciness to it to kind of cut through that sweetness. So I'll probably muddle up like a jalapeno or somehow add some type of spice to it. And I think that will pair well with the little spice that's at the end uh, that they add to this. So, but yeah, for my first non-alcoholic spirit, this is my first time making a non-alcoholic cocktail with a in a alcohol essentially. Um, this was good. Lewis Hamilton, I appreciate you for making this and your team down there in Mexico. Amave. All right. Salute. Cheers to all you guys doing in a non-alcoholic life. Cheers to you guys. Oh, yeah.